if you're not happy where you are, if you're not feeling good where you are, you will not feel good and you will not feel happy where you go. See, most of us are living in a constant struggle of finding happiness and peace and fulfillment somewhere else, someplace else, in a different time, like the future, right? Find, trying to find happiness in, in someone else. And it's a constant struggle. And uh, a lot of us are experiencing this if we're honest with ourselves. I will feel happy once I get that job, once I get that promotion, once I complete this, once I reach this goal, once I find that person, or when I go to that place, right? We're always trying to escape where we are right now to find what we're looking for. And it's a constant struggle, and I think it's going to eat us alive because it's, um, you know, based on a lot of research and a lot of things we can read online and we can read in books and stuff, happiness is not a destination. Happiness is not some place that we can reach. It's not someone we can find. Happiness needs to be found from within ourselves. Because if you're not happy where you are, if you're not happy with who you are right now, chances are things need to be done. Problems need to be solved from within yourself, from within ourselves. And if we try to find happiness in someplace else, a different time, someone else, and we're not happy, that means we're actually escaping our reality. We're avoiding the problems that we should be solving whether the problems are financial whether the problems are emotional psychological and we're trying to compensate for that temporarily by doing something else or going somewhere else and it's a big problem because if we're not satisfied and feeling good with ourselves and we try to go somewhere else to find it we're never going to find it because I'll give you another example. So a lot of times people go traveling. People go to different places, different countries, uh, visiting a different state to, to have fun, to enjoy, which is totally fine. And uh, if you have the opportunity, the money and the time to do that, absolutely go for it. Any opportunity you get. For me, any, any chance I get, I go somewhere, I travel somewhere, especially the past year. And, uh, but the problem is, or when it's not okay to do that, is when you have personal problems, whether the problem is financial, whether it's psychological, emotional, relationship, whatever the problem is, when you are trying to, you have those problems, you're trying to escape it and compensate the problem by going somewhere else. It's like avoiding the problems, right? There are problems that need to be solved from within you. But you try to go, we try to go somewhere else to go on a vacation to feel better. Well, when you come back, the problems are still there, right? <laughs> or even when you are traveling, the problems are still with you. Uh, if you're not feeling happy, if you're not feeling good emotionally, you, there are problems, there are things that you need to work on yourself, self-awareness, weaknesses, whatever the problems are that stop you from being happy. Self-doubt, self-judgment, low self-esteem. You're not going to find it by traveling somewhere. And I'm not going to lie, I'm also guilty of it. And uh, I have to, you know, be honest with myself. A lot of times we do things to compensate for the things that we need to fix. And that's what I mean by 
saying if you're not happy where you are right now at this very moment, you are not going to be happy where you go. Because happiness is a mindset. Happiness is a mental decision that we need to come to agreement. Happiness is a place that we need to reach from within ourselves because every other form of happiness is temporary. Other forms of happiness, what I mean is like buying your dream house, buying your dream car, driving your dream car, or finally visiting your dream city or visiting a country you've always wanted to visit. Finally being able to live in the country you've always wanted to live. Because yes, in the beginning, it's going to be fun. Yes, in the beginning, it's, everything is going to be exciting. But if you haven't found the happiness from within yourself then you're going to be back to your old self when problems arise when you need to be dealing with real life situations that you're not ready for when you pass the excitement period of whatever right whatever thing you are experiencing whether you just bought your car your dream car whether you just started your dream job right because all of those excitements and feeling of joy and pleasure are temporary it's not going to last forever and and the reason they don't last forever is because it's a form of happiness from outside in not inside out and i'm talking about you know those of us who are struggling with finding happiness and if you're not happy if you're happy if you're happy where you are awesome you know but we're talking about um those of us who are not happy where we are and we need to find a way when we feel contented we feel happy even just laying doing nothing being being where we are sitting on a on a couch uh on a weekend doing nothing or just laying in bed feeling good not trying to be constantly finding something to pleasure us to make us excited someone else you know see a lot of times i don't hang out with friends i don't call someone just because I'm bored and I want to talk to somebody which is totally fine that's a completely normal thing to do like you're bored you're not feeling good and you want to catch up with your friend that's totally fine with close friends and family and or relatives but when you are doing that to to make yourself feel better because you're lonely or because you're not happy and you just want to call your friend or you just go you just want to hang out with someone even though you don't really like that one person <laughs> you know you are cheating yourself you're we're being dishonest with ourselves when we do that because that means you're trying to feel better by using something else or someone else because just right after you you come home you get back to your old self and not feeling good and having low self-esteem and you're going to start being hard on yourself again. And that's why I don't make friends with people that are very very different in personalities and values and stuff like that because I don't want to have friends just so that I'm not alone because that's using people to make yourself feel better. Having some friends around you If you have some friends that you don't even like but you hang out with them because you don't want to be alone, that's because you're escaping your your own reality, you're and you're not secure with yourself. And you just want to be around people. And that's going to stop you from growing. And uh so I don't make friends with people that have completely different values and personalities. to compensate 
for what I lack internally, what I lack personally, emotionally, what I lack in my life to compensate for some emptiness or something that I lack inside myself. The same is true for traveling. You want to go somewhere else because you're feeling really low. You're feeling dissatisfied from within yourself about who you are. Because once you go and try to escape your reality, you go somewhere else and you come back, the problems are still there. The problems are still with you. And so that's why we need to try to feel happy and by finding gratitude with, from within ourselves and finding things to be grateful for to feel happier because happiness is not a destination it's not a place it's not a person it's not a time happiness is found from within ourselves and if we don't find it we're always going to be looking for it somewhere else it's crazy but it's true you know like a couple weeks ago i went to new york i went to new york city new york new york city new york right one of the best cities in the world greatest cities in the world the city that never sleeps and a couple weeks before that i was in alaska and by the way beautiful 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 place both places are amazing. I hope if, if you ever get a chance to visit those places, if you're in the U.S. or if you're outside the U.S. and you ever get a chance to visit Alaska or um, New York, go for it. Do it. Anytime you get a chance and you have the time and money to travel, do it. And by the way, what's crazy, speaking of which, speaking of Alaska and New York City, New York City, the population of New York City is, what is the population of New York City? NYC population. New York City population is 8.4 million. Just the city. 8.4 million. The population of the whole state of Alaska is... 730,000. 730,000 only. And that's the whole state of Alaska. But New York City is... It's only the city. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. 8 million. So almost like 12 times more or bigger than the population of Alaska. But anyway, so I went to a place where there were not many people. And I went to a place where there were so many people. And I feel blessed and I'm so thankful to God that I've had these opportunities to go and travel and see places, experience different food and different places and all of that. But the problem is, if I'm honest with myself, sometimes I've traveled somewhere to escape my reality, to escape something that I need to work on to feel happy, right? And that's the best, one of the best examples of understanding that happiness is not in a place because I know so many people dream about visiting New York City, right? Oh my God, I, I, I wish I could visit New York City, right? Yeah, okay, I really hope one day you'll get a chance to go and visit New York City or any place you've ever dreamt of going but once you do and if you're not happy like when i say happy like internally happy feeling good with everything about your life not trying to escape you will realize that all of those excitements are temporary you go you know see all the things all the excitement and take all the pictures but then you realize okay what's next right i want something more exciting i want some i want to go somewhere else to feel more excited and all of these are temporary we finally start to realize that we're still miserable because we're trying to escape our reality we need to try to find ways to enjoy 
being present and enjoying the moment where we are or at least feeling contented that we don't always have to be excited we don't always have to be doing something exciting because that's where the problem arises then i was actually watching a video this uh this doctor was talking about that stuff was saying that we need to try to control our dopamine we need to fast we need to fast from dopamine and dopamine is the chemical the pleasure chemical the happiness chemical uh, it's the chemical that gives you the pleasure when you do something fun like you travel to a different country or you finish a project and you feel excited or uh, if you do social media work and stuff like that you post a you make a post and you get thousands of views and you get that dopamine boost <sighs> it feels so good or other excitement if you're playing video games or or you're in a relationship and you get that boost of happiness when the person tells you i love you or you have fun you know so that's dopamine and so or doing fun things like doing activities like anything exciting that gives you that dopamine boost and makes you feel better and what she was talking about was we need to balance our dopamine and we need to fast from dopamine that means we should try to not depend on dopamine we shouldn't always be looking for something from outside to make us feel good for a short period of time because there are so many ways to to get that dopamine boost especially in the world of today and social media and all that fake happiness that everybody is experiencing which is really really sad so what she was saying is was we need to try to feel good when we're normal normalcy is fine we don't always have to be excited we sh we shouldn't always try to uh we shouldn't always try to be somewhere else we should feel at peace where we are right and balance our feelings of excitement and sadness right because it's going to become like an addiction. But back to the whole trying to find happiness from within ourselves. It's because no one found it somewhere else. All those people who are happy internally are not happy because they have all the money they want in the world. Or they became so famous. Or they bought their dream house. They bought their dream car. They're driving their Ferrari. And you know if you are that kind of person. I mean, it feels great when you're grateful every day. When you're grateful every day, everything feels good. When you're grateful every day and you're driving your dream car, it feels 10 times better. If you're grateful and you're living in your dream house, then it 10 times feels better. That means you've you found your ultimate feelings of gratitude and happiness and fulfillment. But if you're not, then no dream car, no dream house, no dream city will make you happier. And even if it does, it's going to be temporary. I'll give you an example. I met this woman when I was in New York and I want she was homeless and uh I just wanted to have a chat with her. You know, New York City, by the way, the what is let me let me look up the pop homeless population in New York City homeless population in New York homeless population in New York City one in every one oh wow that is crazy so the homeless population is about 80,000 the homeless population in New York City is one person in every 106 New Yorkers. So the population of 8 million people, 80,000 men, women, and children are homeless. Every night, nearly 2,400 
people sleep on the street in the subway system and other public places so when you go to, to new york city and you see all the exciting and glamorous stuff you look down on the street you see people sleeping on the street and i was talking to this woman um, she was homeless and uh, the thing that really hurt me most was uh, when i asked her i asked her where you're from i i said where you're from so when i asked her i said where are you from she had no answer she said i don't know where to call home because she's been homeless for so long and she's lived in so many different places she doesn't even remember where to call home because nowhere is home i feel so bad because that's one of the best cities in the world and it's so sad and that can also tell us just because you are in an exciting place everything is perspective everything is perspective it doesn't matter you could be living in the best city in the world best country in the world and be miserable and homeless and you don't even have to be homeless to be miserable you could be living in your dream house and feel homeless what i'm trying to say is that everything is perspective it doesn't matter where you live if you uh don't find your peace from within yourself you're always going to be struggling and it's really painful when you see someone like that and it gives you perspective about life and situations that we're dealing with because a lot of times things are not as complicated as we see them or as we perceive them once once we see things from that perspective and we realize that our life is not as bad as we think it is and we're doing so much better than a lot of other people in the world or a lot of people around us that could be a really good way of looking at life and trying to feel and find happiness internal happiness because that's the only way to find it i don't know i've just been talking right i've just been talking and talking and talking and i don't even know where we're headed from here but uh, if you're not happy where you are i hope you will find your happiness your peace from right where you are searching for it from within you and i'm trying to find it with whatever you believe in because if you find that if you find that ultimate happiness from within yourself you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to go to anyone and you don't have to try to wait for the future to make you happy because you will realize it's right there from there once you find that ultimate dream job dream house you graduate you find your dream person or go and finally visit all these places or you go it's going to be a different taste the the happiness will be different i hope you'll get there i hope we'll all get there and it's a process and it's a practice and and once you have that happiness with you once you find that happiness and you're finally experiencing inner peace inner joy inner fulfillment and then you feel good and even if you lose that job that dream job even if you lose that dream house even if you lose all your money you go broke you go bankrupt tough situation personally financially romantically whatever the happiness did not leave you because it's inside you it's been inside you the whole time and no external pain and problems are going to affect you the same way of course it's going to hurt of course you're going to be dealing with 
outside situations, but it's not going to feel as bad because you're feeling grateful and you're feeling joy from inside out, not outside in. And it's not going to affect you and you will still feel good despite all the challenges and the struggles that you're going to be dealing with. And all of it starts with gratitude. I hope this episode made you feel better if you're not feeling good. And I hope it will help you find your peace and happiness from within yourself. Thank you for listening. This is Z from Easy.